What's going on everybody? This is Island Hopper TV and today we're going to talk about the difference between Tulum and Playa del Carmen. Let's do it. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the price. So if you want to compare the price between Playa del Carmen and Tulum, one area that stands out as more expensive here in Tulum is going to be the taxis, especially along the beach road. Just to get from downtown Tulum to the beach road can cost you anywhere between 50 to 60 US dollars and it's not a very far distance. And sometimes if you actually solicit a taxi down in the beach to go back into downtown Tulum, it can be even more. And that's even if you just show them the uh, price sheet. They'll show you the price sheet. And on that price sheet, it'll show you that's the prices they charge. And some people will say, oh, it's because you're a tourist. You look too much like a tourist. Well, pretty much everyone gets hit by this. Unless you're able to make friends with one of the taxi drivers, you're going to get hit with this. But when it comes to hotel prices, and stuff like that, I would say it's really comparable if you compare Playa del Carmen to downtown Tulum, but when you're on the uh, beach road right here, all these hotels, these boutique eco resorts, you're not gonna find anything below $130, especially during peak season. Maybe off season, whenever that is, I don't know if that ever happens here in Tulum's downtown beach, but I mean, hotels down here are anywhere between $400 to $1,000 a night. Now we're in, or uh, Playa del Carmen, you can easily find cheaper hotel prices. You can also find cheaper accommodation in downtown Tulum, but the problem is, how are you gonna get down to the beach? So getting down to the beach, you're gonna either need a rental uh, taxi, or you're gonna get a uh, motorbike or a quad, but those are gonna be expensive, like around 100 to 120 a day. Just depends on where you rent it from. So uh, I would say overall, Tulum is more expensive than Playa del Carmen. Okay, but now let's talk about the vibes. Like, which place has better vibes? Where are you gonna get better entertainment? Where are you gonna have more fun, right? And so for me, I would say that Tulum, probably, especially along the beach area. Downtown Tulum is just like Playa del Carmen inland. You know, you're gonna get the same kind of experience. It's not really anything to write home about. But when you're on the beach in Tulum, it's a very magical place. You're not gonna find too many places in the world that are gonna be able to compete with the magic of Tulum. If you're willing to stomach the high cost and the prices then this is where you want to be but if you want a little bit more of a party scene Playa del Carmen has more of a party scene this is more of the beach club you know rent the table rent the beach uh, cabana for like around 200 to a thousand dollars for the day it's quite expensive right so I would say again price is a factor but if money's not an issue Tulum for sure it's gonna be way better than Playa del Carmen across the board unless you just absolutely love pub hopping you can find that in Playa del Carmen you can't really find pub hopping here in Tulum Beach maybe in Tulum Town but then again <laughs> Playa del Carmen is going to win so it just depends on what you're looking for you're looking to party or you're looking to do some lounges and club access Playa del Carmen is party scene and then club access is Tulum all right now let's talk about the subject of safety because this is something that comes up uh, quite frequently I would say along the beach area in Tulum, it's pretty safe. I mean, there are some things that you may have to look out for and definitely I would say don't upset any of the locals in both places. But uh, as far as scams, I haven't really noticed any scam activity so much as exercising general common sense. Um, because if you start getting involved in things you shouldn't, uh, you know, common sense is out the window and then you're in dangerous territory. And that applies in both uh, Tulum and Playa del Carmen. And I wouldn't say either of them are dangerous. I would say that it can be dangerous if you do stupid things. But, you know, people are always saying, oh, Tulum's dangerous. You don't really hear that Playa del Carmen is dangerous. But I would say the downtown area of Tulum has been known to have some shootings and some instances. But still, even then, it's a lot less than even where you're probably coming from, believe it or not. Um, so yes, they do happen, but when it happens, it's a big deal here. Whereas in your home state or your home country, when it happens, it's just kind of like, oh, another walk in the park. So, you know, yes, it does happen, but it's not as bad as you think. Just stay out of trouble. Don't be doing anything that's going to upset the local <laughs> business people, if you get what I'm saying. All right, so now let's talk about things to do. So in Playa del Carmen, it's easier to get to Cozumel 
there's more ferry boats that'll take you to Cozumel. And that's mostly where they're at. The closest one to here is going to be in Eshkoret, because there is two ferries that go to Cozumel, Eshkoret, and Plato Carmen. There is none here. Now, this one here is closer to Bacalar and Cien Can, which is the national park. So that's fun. Also, I would say it's easier to get to Cenotes from Tulum. I think the Cenotes and a lot of the Mayan ruins are easier in Tulum, but I would say the amusement parks are more in Playa del Carmen. You know, you have Jalha, you have Eshkoret. Those are closer to Playa del Carmen than they are here in Tulum. So I would say that's definitely a benefit. The archeological site, like I said, Tulum and then Coba, much easier to get to from here, unless you want to go to Chichen Itza. That one's probably easier to get to from, from Playa del Carmen because it's closer to Tulum. Uh, as far as beach clubs, those are going to be more in Tulum, although they do have those in Playa del Carmen. One thing that Playa del Carmen has in terms of nightlife is a very nice walking area, Avenida, whereas Tulum just has kind of like that, that road and then they have downtown, that road along the beach in Tulum and downtown. But also rooftops. There's a lot of rooftop pools, rooftop bars in Playa del Carmen that you just don't have. We have a few at some of these hotels, especially the newer ones, but they're not along the beach, unfortunately. Now let's talk about the food. So you're not really going to notice a difference in the food. Uh, tacos are tacos, right? Although I would say that the tacos in Tulum seem to be a bit better than Playa del Carmen. They're a little bit smaller too. Um, although I had some really delicious food in Playa del Carmen, but really food is food, especially in this area. You're just going to get pretty much the same kind of quality, really a nice quality, uh, good quality meat, good quality taste and ingredients so food is food it's gonna be the same in both place same with prices let's talk about shopping and architecture and style two totally different styles two totally different types of architecture in Tulum it's more of a jungle vibe and Playa del Carmen it's more of the Mexico kind of Puebla kind of vibe in terms of architecture and style but with a beach twist, Mexican beach town. Whereas Tulum is like a very involved, multicultural architecture with definitely a lot of Mayan indigenous uh, style to it, but it's definitely got some uh, unique, diverse style here in Tulum. But again, they're not the same. They're two totally different vibes. You're not gonna feel like you're in the exact same place, even though you're 50 you know, kilometers apart or 60 kilometers apart, however far it is. Let's talk about transportation getting around here. We've already kind of touched on the price of the taxis, although I want to let you guys know there are other ways to get around. Bikes are common, renting bikes, bicycles I'm talking about. People are also renting mopeds commonly, although you have to be careful with that. I would say a more cheaper, well, not necessarily cheaper, but safer solution would be riding a quad just because it's four wheels instead of two. Maybe a side-by-side. -side. Obviously, anything you do do, make sure you're not intoxicated because you wouldn't want to get into an accident intoxicated because that would be like two things not going in your favor. One, drinking and driving, and then two, being injured in an accident. Um, so maybe in that case, a bicycle might be better if you plan on having a couple drinks. I don't know if you can get in trouble for drinking and riding a bike. You probably could, but it wouldn't be as bad on multiple levels if you got, if you crashed on a bike compared to if you crashed a scooter or a quad or some other alternative vehicle, all-terrain vehicle, I should say. So, there you go. Thank you everyone for watching Island Hopper TV. If you enjoyed this one, please consider watching another one of our videos. We have a recommended video and another video for you to watch next.